The Robot Orchestra is a citizen engineering project, so it's designed to try and bring together the ingenuity, the creativity of the public. We wanted to get the public to create robots to play music. Basically, we just did a kind of call to action. We said we're going to make this recycle robot orchestra. Manchester is European city of science, and we want to build a recycled robot orchestra, and we want you to get involved. People responded, got excited. Next thing you know, people are hacking and making, and we've got robots. I had no idea how much it was really going to capture the imagination of so many different people, and it's just grown and grown and grown and grown. And, and so the, the technical challenge and the musical challenge has grown and grown with it. I'm the designer of the Crumble controller, and I'm here today because they're using the Crumble in this fantastic robot orchestra project. Uh, the Crumble controller has got built-in motor drivers and ability to uh, do lots of physical computing. When you have the next generation of creative people coming together, experimenting with the latest technology, that inspires a wonder, which I think is remarkable. It's interested me a lot, so I do think that I could possibly try and do that in later life. Yeah, it's just amazing. We actually co-designed the project to get other people to work with us to make it happen, because we can't do it on our own. So we had an engineering input from myself and then with the big industry leader is Siemens. But then we needed the musical input as well, so we have Steve Pickett from the Halley. We're here today to make music with robots. We've got children and young people from all over Greater Manchester, from different schools, who've been tasked over the last few weeks to create some sort of musical robot. The challenge for the Halle in this process is how we're going to put all those sounds together and how we're going to give them a common purpose so that they ultimately play a piece. The Recycled Orchestra has never been done before, um, using the various robots to try and um, make sure that we can get an orchestral piece. The main challenge has just been trying to make sure that we can find a common interface with them to make sure that they will work today. I'm the uh, lead project engineer from Siemens working on the Robot Orchestra project which we're responsible for producing Graphene who is the electronic conductor of the orchestra. Uh, all the robots are here today, they should all be finished, robot orchestra ready. Uh, there might be a few tweaks that need to be done, get them all wired up into graphene and then he should be able to conduct the orchestra and hopefully get a song playing today. It's a real hub of excitement at the moment because you've got all these different elements that are going to become part of this bigger whole. I am a student at the University of Manchester. Um, it's my job here today to, to see how everything falls through together. So that means electronically, mechanically, and to see more about the Siemens conductive side of things. The variety of instruments that are here is absolutely incredible. The cello that's behind me, that is a school project that we've been doing. And at the touch of two wires, uh, the bow will move back and forth across the string. And Steve has told me to tune it to a C, and it now plays a C string. I've got these two chords, C major, C, E and G and then G minor, uh, which is G, B flat and D. Okay. So if you played the harmony notes, that'd be great. Okay. We're working out how graphene can turn any sets of robots on and then turn them off again. And it's just juggling all those different parameters to create a piece of music that will sit together. And the key thing is getting it to play together. Send it a signal. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's it. And yeah, bravo guys. The combination of music and maths and engineering and science is really interesting. The creative process of experimentation and science are really similar to the creative processes of composition or creating new music. So I'm Deborah and I'm the director of Brighter Sound. Um, Brighter Sound is a creative music company based in Manchester. And we were approached to commission two artists stroke bands to work with the Robot Orchestra. Thank you very much everybody for everything you've done today in terms of we've found out a lot of information, a lot of notes have been taken. The main idea with all this is when folk come out of this conference, they're going to be quite mystified with what it's going to do, but actually they're going to be hit somewhere about there. Uh, and I think the impact of it is the really important thing. Ah, that's the plan. <laughs> so come on, let's do it. <laughs> 
Today we're at Manchester Central. We're literally only 20 minutes away from the first performance of the Robot Orchestra. Feeling extremely tense, extremely nervous. Um, all the delegates are having a opening ceremony and then they're going to come out and enjoy the exhibition and they're going to hear for the first time the Robot Orchestra. I think it brings together some leading engineers together with loads of local kids who've contributed to something I think quite special. I mean, I heard that some of the engineers, professional engineers, learned a great deal from making the orchestra. It's now our chance to hear the Manchester Robot Orchestra to play for us. This is the Citizen Science Project, which has been at the heart of the European City of Science activity. So, welcome everyone, over to the orchestra. The way it starts is it's called chaos to begin with. All of the robots will just start playing and then slowly it all builds in with the Halle Orchestra and then comes into the fanfare, the robots are coming. The journey from concept of robot orchestra to actual robot orchestra has been wild. <laughs> Lots of early mornings, late nights, um, but yeah, really, really enjoyable. And actually, we've got quite a lot of learning points out of it. Um, really challenged the way that we do things. Doing a project like this, where people come together, work together in a short period of time to achieve a common, fantastic goal, that is what engineering is all about. I couldn't be more proud of these bunch of robots at <laughs> this far exceeds any of my expectations. It's just amazing. And to have that legacy, not only in Greater Manchester, but hopefully around the country, of different schools, different clubs, building their own robot orchestras. So we want lots and lots of robot orchestras this time next year.